Good evening, I'm Rob Johnson. Erica has the night off also tonight. <laughs> Does this look like a restaurant? Neighbors say it looks more like a rowdy nightclub and they want it gone. At the center of the controversy, Bottle Blonde, located in the River North neighborhood. It just opened last November. CBS 2's Dana Kozlov reports some neighbors claim it's brought nothing but headaches to the area. Welcome to the front of Bottled Blonde in River North. Neighbors say stop traffic and block streets are just part of a much bigger problem because of this new establishment. People screaming and yelling at 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Loud, drunk, passing out literally on the street. There's people urinating in the street. Like this woman, who residents say left Bottled Blonde only to use the entranceway to a nearby building as a toilet. They say the drunken chaos is bad enough. What's worse, residents say Bottled Blonde is in violation of its operating agreement with the city. They told the community that they were opening up as a restaurant, and though they may be a restaurant during the day, at night it turns into a nightclub. Bottled Blonde's plan of operation clearly states it shall operate as a restaurant and shall not operate in a manner where the sale of alcoholic beverages is the primary business activity. Ryan Reeves just laughs. I attempted to get a reservation for a group of five friends on a Saturday at 4 p.m. and they told me it was bottle service only in a $500 minimum at 4 p.m. So Reeves and others are fighting to get Bottled Blonde to comply or close down. Marcus Cook, Bottled Blonde's representative, says they're trying to amicably resolve the issues and comply with the operation plan. There are now respect our neighbor signs and other messages on the doors. But it's all met with neighborhood skepticism. They're trying to get away with as much as they can, and then when they get caught, they, they stop. They turn off their Facebook page. They adjust their strategy. In River North, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Bottle Blonde owners and residents have already met twice with the city. A spokesperson for the Department of Business Affairs and Consumer Protection says a third meeting is scheduled for May. If no resolution is reached, the city's law department will then get involved.